Hello oh, and welcome to Irish Football Fan TV with myself Jack McGuire and uh, today I'll be discussing five Irish players who will be on the move this summer whose contracts have expired at their clubs and who could be moving in England, Ireland or further afield. And some of these uh, players are still in contention for the Irish national team so uh, they still have plenty to prove and uh, I'm sure a move away from, uh, from their respective clubs uh, could be beneficial to them. And the first player I've gone with today is uh, Kieran Sadler. Uh, obviously, being a Cork City fan myself, uh, Kieran is one of my favourite players. And uh, since joining Doncaster, he's been unbelievable. He joined in January 2019 from Cork City, coming off the back of some successful campaigns uh, in Ireland with City and with Sligo Rovers. Uh, Kieran, this season just gone, scored 12 goals and had six assists and 40 appearances. And uh, the Doncaster manager, Darren Moore, has been delighted with his progress. He thought he, he thinks he's a fantastic player. And despite the rumours, and uh, well, I suppose Kieran, ha his contract has expired at Doncaster. And uh, he's hoping of uh, a move to the championship, maybe. And there has been some interest from Hull City. And the Hull City manager, uh, who's actually uh, Grant McCann, he would have worked with Kieran before, as they were both at Peterborough and with Doncaster. So hopefully, move to the championship might be on the cards for Kieran Sadler. You know, he's um, Darren Moore is very keen to keep hold of him, and he thinks that he'd be very beneficial to the uh, to the Doncaster team going forward. But uh, obviously, move to the championship would be huge for Kieran himself and for you know his perspective, you know, of making to the Irish team. He he did make the provisional squad for the Irish team under Mick McCarthy twice. But uh, unfortunately, he never made the, the match day squad. But I think Kieran still has lots to prove. He has experience. He's still only 25 years of age. He has experience in, in Scotland with St. Mirren and with Halifax and with Peterborough. So he, he has the experience in England, in Scotland and Ireland. And I think he could be very useful to the Irish team. And he could be become one of the top championship players over the next year or two as well if he keeps his good run going. Uh, he scored 18 goals for Cork City and 15 for Sligo. And he was he was key to Cork's campaign, and he was you know he scored some incredible goals for Doncaster as well, making space at the edge of the box. His pace, he's been very effective, and I think he would fit in very nicely in the championship, and hopefully keep that good run going, keep his form going, and if we're lucky, we might see him push into the Ireland team, which I think would be fantastic for everyone. And next, obviously, uh, Jeff Hendrick is the next one I'll be discussing, but at the same time, there has been a lot of talk about Jeff moving to to AC Milan. And a lot of people, upon hearing that, would have thought maybe, you know, that's madness. That it could never happen that a, an Irish player would go to AC Milan. But there, there has been strong links with, uh, with Milan, with Jeff Hendrick. And I think it would be a great move for Jeff. He's 28 years of age. He's, he's been with Derby and with Burnley. He has a lot of Premier League experience. He, he scored 22 goals in the Championship and he scored nine in the Premier League. He had 24 Premier League appearances for Burnley this season with two goals. He's been he's been playing at the top level for so long, and I think that when played out slightly out of position, maybe at Burnley, it hasn't suited him properly. So maybe a move abroad might be the best thing for Jeff. And with someone who still has plenty to prove in the Ireland team, Jeff is one of the most consistent performers. He's always there in the Irish team, and I think maybe a move to AC Milan or just just a different kind of uh, a different style of play could adjust uh, it could make Jeff more adjustable to positions for Ireland and or any other club you know he might become more agile and it might improve his game overall as he gets to see a different uh, a different perspective but yeah if if the AC Milan move doesn't work out I'm sure there, there would be other Premier League clubs maybe championship clubs if it came to it that uh, that would be delighted to have Jeff and unfortunately the the contract talks broke down with with Burnley Jeff and uh, Sean Dyche couldn't agree on a deal. But uh, Jeff's best friend, or his, his fellow Irishman, Robbie Brady, has uh, agreed to a contract extension at Burnley. So that will see him there for another another year anyway. But uh, hopefully Jeff can, uh, can move on and push on. He was one of the stars of Euro 2016 for Ireland. You know, it was a time where Irish fans really realised how good he was and how effective he could be when played in the right position. Uh, if he's played in that attacking role, he can. His vision is incredible for wide balls or balls through the centre. He's incredible, and I think he could be a great asset to Ireland in in the coming years, especially with all the young talent coming through. If if Jeff has the vision to play ball, and you know bring all these young players into play, these fast players, these attacking players, I think it could be very beneficial to Ireland. And I would love to see Jeff have a, have a big move abroad, and hopefully 
push on to the next level and you know make an even bigger name for himself. And, and moving on, then another former Burnley player is Stephen Ward, and Stephen's contract uh, was out, but it, it expired at the end of June. But uh, with only six championship games left, uh, the uh, Stoke have extended his contract for the for them final six games. He retired from international football last year with uh, 50 caps for Ireland and he has experience at the top level. I know he, he's 34 now, so maybe he hasn't too many more years left playing at the at the top level. But I'm sure there would be other teams who would be delighted to have Stephen Ward's, uh, Stephen Ward's kind of experience among the team and his leadership. He's played for Wolves, for Brighton and for Burnley, as I said, and he was very influential there. He was a great player and he's at 15 championship appearances this year, which shows that he's still able to play at, at the top level. And, you know, however many clubs would be interested in acquiring his services, I'm not sure. Maybe a move back to Ireland might be a possibility eventually, but we'll have to wait and see. He was given the short-term extension just to cover those six games. So it's it's anyone's guess where he might end up after these games and when the campaign has ended. But I'm sure that he still has more to give. And I would love to see him, you know, keep pushing on, keep pushing a club and playing at the top level. Because we all like to see our Irish players keep playing at the top and, keep making appearances and doing the best they can for their clubs. And as well as that, uh, obviously people have heard Kieran O'Hara. He's one of the, the young Irish goalkeepers coming through. He's been at Manchester United since he was eight years of age. And he was released by Man United this summer after he was he went on several loans to... Uh, he was with Macclesfield and with Morecambe. And this season just gone with Burton Albion where he actually had made 33 appearances and had nine clean sheets for Burton, which is incredible in League One. You know, For a player, he hasn't, he hasn't had much time at Man United. He's been on loan and experiencing different clubs, but he's been, he's been very consistent. He made 42 appearances for Macclesfield as well. And he, he overall, with, uh, with Burton, he made 42 appearances with nine clean sheets. Or sorry, with 12 clean sheets. So he's been fairly consistent. He's a solid goalkeeper. And you know he could be a, he's definitely an option for League One clubs, maybe even for Championship squads. He might make it into a Championship squad. He he has experience. Eight years of age, he joined United, and he went. He's been through their academy. He's gained experience across England in different leagues at different levels. And uh, Kieran himself, he said, after two years playing regularly away on loan, he felt that now was the right time to take the natural next step. So he has ambition, that ambition to move on to maybe ma- make a name for himself. You know, prove that he's capable of playing in, at the top level of football in England or maybe even further afield. But he, I think he'd be a great addition to any team. And if he could make it into the Championship or another League One team and be their number one keeper, I think it would be fantastic for himself and for, you know, just for the Irish team to have those backup keepers to keep to keep those players playing at the top level, I think is, is the most important thing. And, uh, you know, coming through the United Academy, he was full of praise for United for all the staff, for all the players who helped him along the way, who put their time and their passion into improving him as a player. And I think that, uh, you know, the, the future is very bright for Kieran himself. And uh, hopefully we can see him, you know, knocking on the door of the Irish team as well, you know, and keeping the competition for places up, which is what we want, really. And the, the last player that I was thinking was uh, Daryl Murphy. You know, <laughs> Daryl Murphy has been, has been playing in England for years. He's been playing in the championship and he's even gone to Celtic for a while. And he's been one of those players who, who's always been there. He's always been playing at that kind of top level in the UK. And uh, his contract ended in June with Bolton. And obviously Bolton have had a have had a tough time of it. They've been struggling a lot in the last while. And the the time has come for Daryl Murphy to leave Bolton. And there has been a lot of rumours about him uh, moving away. And one of them has been of returning to his home club of Waterford which would be an interesting move to have such a, a player coming from the high of the championship and from playing at that top level in England to come into the League of Ireland, which which would be a, which would be a big change for him. But I'm sure the Waterford fans will be delighted to hear that. League of Ireland fans in general will be delighted to hear names like that, you know, that he respects the, the League of Ireland, that he would respect it enough to play and to, to show what he can do for Waterford. It's a, like he has played for Nottingham Forest, for Newcastle, for Celtic, as I said, for Sunderland. And for Ipswich, he scored 67 goals for Ipswich. And uh, actually in 2015, in 2014-15 season, he scored 27 goals and won the Golden Boot in the Championship. So he's he's a natural goal scorer. I know he hasn't uh, 
he hasn't been exactly scoring a load of goals for Ireland, but uh, he has 33 caps and he did appear against Italy and France at Euro 2016. So it shows that you know he's still he's still able to perform at the top level. He's still respected by managers. He's respected by players. And when he was with Waterford, he played at Watford from two thousand and two to two thousand and five, and he was he was fantastic. And he went to Luton and he worked his way up through the through the ranks in England. And it, you know a move for Waterford would be an interesting one. It's been said it's for family reasons or that he'd like to be to move closer to home. But I think that it would benefit the league in general, and I think uh, overall it would be huge, you know, for him. And hopefully we can see more players return from England to the League of Ireland over the next few years, raise the profile of the league, and all going well, improve the standard overall, and uh, keep the improvement going. But uh, that, that's all for me today. I just wanted to give a, a quick run through some of the players that I felt uh, could could make the move, uh, some potential moves, how it might benefit them, and uh, what they've done to date in their career so far. Let me know what you think uh, in the comments below. Let me know if you like it, if you have any other suggestions, where you think these players might go, or if there are any other ones. Leave a like or a comment or whatever you can, and it would be really appreciated.